Welcome to our living room. This is from the Disney Couch, and tonight we are on our 10th movie, on our quest for the Disney movie. Double digits. Woo! Melody time. It's time for some melody time. Never heard of it. Yeah, never heard of it until we started this little project. Um, it was buried in the Disney vaults for like 50 years. It wasn't released on VHS until 98, which is 50 years after it was released oh, in 1948. So not a really big hitter for Disney Studios. So this is still the post-wartime era. Disney was making the package films, he called them. They didn't have a lot of animators, they didn't have a lot of money, and they were rebuilding capital so they could do the big project. So they had their sights set on Cinderella, which would be released two years later than this, but they needed to get some momentum going. And so the way they did that was kind of go back to the Fantasia idea where they took music and did little shorts and just stuck them together. Uh, this was more contemporary music from the 40s. Yay, I love contemporary music. Well, 1940s contemporary music? Um, I don't know. We'll I'm looking forward to, to that. Yes. Let's watch it. Hey, that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. Melody time! Melody time! Melody time! Melody time! That was good. I liked that. I didn't mind it. Yeah, I think out of all of the short compilation type movies, that one was the most enjoyable. The least boring. Here we have a little directory of most of the shorts. Ooh. It's got seven shorts in it. There is one about a skating couple who were falling in love and experiencing peril. One of the things that we noticed that maybe we should have included in our list of criteria is bluebirds. Yep. <laughs> so there always seems to be a pair of bluebirds flying around and helping out somehow. And then That's there was right. the Bumblebee, a uh, nice fever dream set to jazzy Fly the Bumblebee. It made me think, I want to download that song. Mm. There was the Legend of Johnny Appleseed. I like that one. It was heartwarming and wholesome, mm -hmm. just like Johnny himself. Mm. Yeah, there was a lot of references to Christianity in this animated release. Yeah. But I don't think there's enough there to really determine what the Walt Disney Company actually stands for when it comes to spiritual matters. <laughs> You're on your own there to figure that one yeah. out. Little Toot Toot. I like that one. A little little toot, toot, toot Toot. Isn't he in Zootopia? Hey, little Toot! Maybe that's an inside Woo joke. Trees, based on the poem by William Wordsworth, is it? Which, you know, everyone knows the first line of that poem. I think that I shall never see oh, a, a poem, poem as, as lovely as, as a, a tree. tree. We had one more uh, appearance with the parrot from South America, Jose and Carioca. Duck. And the last short is about Pecos Bill. So. Pickle Bill? <laughs> Pickle Bill. And I found it really interesting how all the cheesy, funny, creative ways they came up with the origins for things. Pecos Bill, like, using a stick and digging, like, this entire giant river, or, you know, shooting all the stars in the sky so that Texas just has the lone star. It was all so glorious and cheesy, but it was really creative. And Roy Rogers was singing to it, so... Yeah. I have no idea who Roy Rogers is. So well, now you know. Yeah. He's a cowboy. And if you were a little curly-haired girl in 1948, you would know who Roy Rogers was. And his horse, Trigger. Yeah, so this movie's kind of all over the place. Let's start scoring. Let's see if this can rack up more points than Make My Music, which Make got nine. Alright, look at this. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of them, right? Yep. Yeah, a couple love stories. Because there was the ice skaters had a kiss. And yeah. yeah. one in a covered bridge. Oh my goodness. And then Pigos Bill and Slewfoot Sue. She kissed him. She planted one on him. After he, you know, arranged the stars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For her. That's the other thing that shows up in Melody Time is there is some nice Twitter patient going on. We first saw that in Bambi. What is Twitter patient? Female character bats her eyelashes at male character. 
male character experiences lightheadedness, levitation, strange <laughs> visions, contortions of the body, everything turns into hearts around him, he falls on his face. And they give the girl some flowers, and then they're together forever. My eyelashes plus flowers equals love. <laughs> okay, so we have a kiss. It's on. I found out, thanks to my friends at Wikipedia, that the Blue Shadows on the Trail song, sung by Roy Rogers, made for this movie, made it onto the list of the top 100 Western songs of all time. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're a country fan, you may beg to differ. I'm not a country fan, so I beg not to listen to that song again. <laughs> Which you villain? Not really any villains at all, really. There was a couple of boys in the little toot that had gnashing yeah. teeth. <laughs> and we're calling him bad boy. And I think that was more of a fear-induced hallucination. I would hope yeah. so. But no witchy villains <laughs> in this one. Ugly villains. I don't know, those boys were pretty frightening. Yeah, but they're not villains. Yeah, I wouldn't call them a they're, villain. They're mm. mean, but they're, they're not like the mean antagonist of the story. I think I agree with John. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah, they don't they, count. They aren't a villain, they're just a bystander going, <laughs> Death by falling. Yeah, Slewfoot Sue. <laughs> Death she, by bouncing? Yeah, she died by falling <laughs> to the moon. That was probably the strangest way for somebody to die that I've ever seen. Does that count? I don't know. Well, she was trying to tame a horse. It was her wedding day, so she had this massive bustle in her dress. Apparently, I didn't know this, I thought bustles were just extra fabric. They can and, be. and back in the old days when they wanted bigger bustles. I like big bustles and I cannot lie. <laughs> I, apparently, bustles could also be made out of lots of wire and spring. <laughs> because of the springs in her bustle, every time she fell, she accelerated and gained altitude. Is that how physics works? No. <laughs> <laughs> None of this makes sense. And so she kept bouncing higher and higher and higher until eventually she landed on the moon and she stayed there. I guess she landed on her face on the moon. Yeah. She bounced to the moon. I think we should give it half points. <laughs> yeah, half a point for death by bouncing. <laughs> Alcohol. Once again, our good buddy Jose Carioca comes through for us. Yeah, yeah whole Jose. shaker scene. Whatever yeah. those little thingies Actually, are. Yeah, the crazy bird from Three Caballeros. Yeah, he mixed up a cocktail. Yeah, it was definitely weird. So it wasn't like a drinking scene, but immersed into the alcohol. It's definitely alcohol. But you don't have to be drinking it. it for alcohol yeah, to be in That's it. true. We okay. just said alcohol. All right, that counts. Missing parents. No, wow. Oh, so. Pecos Bill. Of course. Oh, cool. He got. Oh. He fell off the back of uh, his parents' wagon, and they never came looking for him. Also, yeah. yeah. It, it was kind of like the original version of Home Alone. <laughs> the mom and dad went to Chicago and left little Billy behind. Never noticed. Yeah. He was raised by coyotes, so yeah, he was yeah. an orphan. That counts. Yeah. It, it was dad with a stash. Oh, the tugboat dad. Did he have a stash? No, he had a pipe, but no stash. Just a pipe, no stash. No dad with a stash. Doesn't count. <laughs> Talking animals. They were laughing and whistling and... Yeah, the chipmunks were laughing, behaving in a humanish way. Also, and we know Donald Duck talks. He just didn't talk in this one. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, Pecos Bill horse, his horse kind of... Oh yeah, they were totally lip-syncing to the singer. Yeah, they were they were yodeling. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yodeling, talking, yodeling same animals. thing. Okay, yodeling horse brings it over the line for me. Yeah, yodeling and whistling horse. Okay, full mark. <laughs> Yay! Unlikely partnership. Nope. <laughs> nope, no unlikely yeah. partnership. Hit a Mickey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There were all kinds of bubbles as Donald and Jose story. were in there, but I saw three screenshots on the interweb, and we paused at one and found the Mickey. I know they're there. Yep, it's in there. The book intro. Yeah. Yeah, not one, but two. Yeah, the first one is actually quite nice because it was kind of an old-fashioned book with Walt Disney and scripty letters on it. It was yes. quite pretty. And the other one was American History, I think. The book said American History on the beginning of Johnny Offseed, oh. I think. Oh, the book opening is nice. Yeah. Resurrection. Was anyone resurrected in Melody Time? Johnny Appleseed went to heaven, but yeah. he died. Oh. He died. Right, yeah. He got a new body, so that counts for something. That's the resurrection that's most important. That's right. Yep, no resurrection here. <laughs> Alright, so our total for Melody Time is... 7.5 out of 14. That's what happens when you have a plot. 
that does put it up there. It's above Pinocchio, above Dumbo. So that is Melody Time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, leave them below. Take a look at some of our links. Don't forget to like us and subscribe from the Disney Couch. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Now can you watch the No, it's too late. You gotta go to bed now. And, and quails running in a line. Yes. Quail? Yeah. Quail. Not quails. I don't know. I hadn't noticed the quails before. Quail. I hadn't noticed the quail before. Which one? <laughs>